Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing absolutely amazing. I wish you all a wonderful Eastern. Here in Austria, it is really relaxed, very chill. Um, I don't know where you're from right now, but um, yeah, in Austria, it's beautiful. I can't wait until I travel the world as well. Okay, I don't know why I said why I talk like this right now, but okay. So I got other quests that the people want to play, uh, want me to play in Challenger again. So here we are. We're playing in Challenger Elo, and I play against a really hard team comp. Runes and everything is fine, as you know. We're gonna go right into the game. This is also my first game of the day. I'm gonna be live playing. We play as you can see against Odysseus again, <laughs> best Talia as we have it. <laughs> like it's funny that I insta play against him again. Four challengers. I play with two challengers. We have a challenger here as well. I don't know what's about to happen in this game, but let's have some great content. Let's go. I'm gonna be also giving you guys my thought process. Of course, I do it off stream, so the quality is even higher. All for you guys. Let's enjoy it. Okay, but before we start, I want to show one more thing. Um, I got a lot of people... Uh, a lot of people... Wait. I told you guys that I will be uploading more videos to my uh, jungle course. And I did so. As you can see, it is still 100. I think I will upload... Uh, increase it very soon, the price. I think in one to two weeks. So instead of like one week until we get it. Um, and yeah, then it will 100% uh, like... Then have everything done and so on so i will have these two videos more uploaded building your particular most consistent pathing really 1v9 video when i recorded this i was like this is gonna be insane content um everybody who has the course already of course can watch it right now and everybody who gets it before i increase the price will be able to watch it as well and upload it and enable every power spike plus create win conditions so now the course is almost fully complete I will be uploading only one last video to the course and then we are finished. You can get it in the description right now. You can uh, click on it, check out the, the topics, the fundamentals, if it is something for you. Um, next week, I will be uploading the last video. There will be one more probably live game where I will be yeah, showing you how to use the fundamentals. I will be bot reviewing and will do it very, very special as you all know. And then the course is fully complete. And I do believe that it is the best coaching I've ever done. And it is extremely valuable. Also updated now for season 14. And yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I'm very uh, like proud of my work and I hope you will enjoy it. And if you have any questions, you can always DM me on Discord. The game started. I start wrap off as you guys. I try to always start wrap off because it is really consistent. I get a lot of gold and XP from Crux. A lot of pressure. Odysseus warded my chickens again as he did it last time from the last video already. He will see me in one second, but it doesn't matter. I can consider a level 3 gank. Now he has vision on me right here. So level 3 ganking is most likely not gonna work out, guys. Keep that in mind. Um, I could walk around it, but it's still risky because she will expect it for like a tiny bit of a second. So I'll just be careful that Vi doesn't gank. We have a ward here, so I'm not scared she level 3 ganks too early. I'm still gonna take W. I'm gonna just E auto attack W or attack Q with the resets. This is a very fast clear. Need to be respecting Vi a little bit, but I'm not gonna use my ward. Gonna play it very slow. And I've seen a lot of my coaching clients recently, they take the um, pot. Guys, do not take pots, okay? There are only a very small numbers of junglers where pots are good. And only also on those in very rare situations, okay? Learn to play without pot. It's better than using the pot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Five by what you do. My mic cut off for one second here. I was considering a mid lane play. Okay, I will try probably try to get topside as well. I think I'm strong. I have chase as well coming, but Talia doesn't want to give it. He did use his flash, I think. I've just got to get the ward. I don't think I can get more than that. 
Who's gonna get this ward here? I'm not that scared of Talia. That actually hit me crazy. But Vi has no flash, so there's no reason to be scared. Okay, that's actually bad. That's way too deep. I don't understand why this happens. That is so deep for no reason. Um, Oriana just should not have... I can always go for the ward because they don't have anything. Oriana should have never went for the ward, especially since she doesn't have anything. I'm gonna be getting boots here and recurvo, and then I'm gonna try to just get my top side crux. I'm not that scared. Uh, technically speaking, Vi could be invading me, and Dead Dirt is also a player who does play very aggressively. But there's also a player who tilts extremely fast, which I can easily punish. Let's see how it's going to go. I assume he's gonna reason and go for his chickens again. Okay, he did invade me. That's not very optimal. But I f if he does my chickens as well, I can easily get void grubs. He's not on it. Okay, that's pretty good. He will reset and get his crux now, and I can instantly go for void drops. Where do we know, guys? He's resetting. Pause it and think about it. Because not a single cam from him is up. So there's no... Um, like, nothing he can do besides resetting and instantly going for his crux. So he is right now here, and I'm just gonna f f force fighting this. Also, Malfoy is not level 6, so I'm not that scared. This is very illegal. How is this legal? <laughs> okay, that's very illegal that the enemies are allowed to do this. I guess, oh, do, like this is so crazy how big of a difference it is if you play against a very high challenger player and a challenger player. The fact that Oriana is not able to match that is crazy. Malfoy is level 5, not a champion. I'm stronger than Vi. She can't play the game. Chase is way stronger than Malphite. I'm way stronger. And we're both full HP. And I can secure the first drop. And she continuously died. Okay, that's not very optimal. Gonna be a rough start. But it's gonna be a perfect game for me. Showing you how to play from behind. And how to play with bad challenger players. Um, keep in mind, guys. Players will always play bad. No matter which elo. The only thing you can do is try to play better yourself. Okay? Trust me, you will always complain. As you can see, I'm complaining. You will also. I'm just gonna try to make the best out of this. Yeah, use this E. I think I waste my time here a little bit. Maybe with Bard. He's too late as well. I can try to cheese this. We have Oriana mid prior very soon. Why will 100% fight this? Because that dirt is a player who just doesn't give anything. He has no respect. That gives us a lot. Oriana pings me. She's also mad. That doesn't matter. As you can see, like, we know Oriana did a mistake, but she's also thinking I did a mistake. So as you can see, as I am flaming, like, like, kind of blaming her, she's also blaming me. So the mistake I'm doing is here, the blame in general. I shouldn't be blaming, I should just accept it, okay? So now we can say that Oriana made the mistake, but in the end, it doesn't matter at all who made the mistake. All that matters is that now I refocus again, okay? I will focus and see what I can do and play with what I have right now. The past is already the past. A lot of junglers will continuously talk about this play. Maybe it was my mistake. Maybe it wasn't even Oriana's mistake at all. Because the, the wave was maybe not looking in a very good position. Vi might be in my top side. Okay. And she continuously dies. That is really hard to play. I can't do anything right now. Playing against Odysseus is also really painful. I'm just going to be respecting that a little bit here. I cannot enter any topside here as well. I'm gonna try to play around. Oriana's keep being tilted. She stays in base now. I hope she does play at least the game. I can 100% carry this. She did do my wrap buff already. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go for Crux here then. I don't think there's anything else I can do. I got the first dragon. My entire team is griefing. <laughs> guys, guys, listen, listen, listen. Big coaching tip. Accept it. We try to win, okay? How can we win? It looks unplayable. It looks really, really, anno really hard, this game. And there's a lot of, yeah, um, things you can complain about, you know? A lot of things. Every single lane is losing. Kaiser's the only one that is strong. And you see my, my thoughts, my brain already, looking at how can we win? 
Kaiser. Okay, can we win for Kaiser? What can we do to win for Kaiser? I'm gonna reset. I need to go for pickaxe. So I get an insta power spike. Gonna get wolves, blue, and maybe grump. And then I try to play Kaiser. I'm gonna use one fundamental, which I have it on the course, enabling one of my win conditions. I already know Oriana's a bad player. I'm not gonna play for Oriana. I already know Chase. Like, he is a decent player, but he's not gonna be a champion anymore. Zero free. I can't play topside anymore. I already know I can't match Vi anymore because now she's ahead and I can't fight her anymore. So, I need to have a lot of acceptance. They could be cheesing me here as well. And I try to find a door where I can win through, okay? I'm not just gonna try to keep ganking mid lane or top lane. I try to find a door which will be bot lane in this case. Really hard, guys. Really hard. But let's see what I'm capable of doing. <clears throat> I also say that this is not my best game. I mean, it's my first game of the day. It's basically my warm-up. I am getting ready. But instead of finding excuses now, I will be focusing to see what I can do. We already got two plating spot and I'm gonna sweep her here. If Kaiser gets two kills, if we get the shutdown, we are back in the game and we can win it. We got one Void Grub, so we are allowed to give a little bit. I want to dive this as possible. Ezra is already coming. He did put a ward, most likely. Okay, that didn't see us. This could be good. Okay, flash on me. He's still as old, I think. Yeah, that's kind of painful. Yeah, not, not much we can do. I could have tried to flash to this one here. Vi instantly used flash into into ult. That's like how Vi works. He just presses flash Q and you're 100% stunned. The, again, Odysseus, as we know, top. Th this guy's a rank 1 player for those who don't know. Instantly roams as well. Knows exactly what to do while out CSing Doriana and killing her on default and roaming for Void Crops. That is very casual. Top lane died again. It's 12 and 0, but I do not give up. This looks absolutely unplayable and it's a challenger game and the enemy are very head, but... I'm trying to find, win find windows. Okay, now Oriana's fed. Maybe we can start to play for Oriana again. That could be good. She doesn't have flash, doesn't have ult. Okay, that could be a potential catch. Let's see. I want to get one Void Drop so they at least don't get anything. We can try to kill Mordekaiser here. We need to kill his... We need to get his shut down. Is there something I can do? Okay, it looks really promising to be honest. I don't understand why he's overforcing it that much. That was a pretty bad Q from me. I could have queued a little bit later, but I think if he doesn't get ult, he will die nonetheless. Oh, that's really bad. I'm gonna ult here. This is very illegal, I, I think. I actually end up not killing him, my bad. My Q was just bad. Yeah, my Q was bad, should you? Oh, yo, 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 yo. I could have played that better. I could have just not pressed my Q. I was expecting the chase to do one more auto attack, that's why I actually queued. But my Q was just bad, I should have waited. Even if chase does another auto attack, I could have waited a little bit longer. And that's guys, why you never try to start with a Q on a gank. And that is why you should never queue like I did. Where, um... Where the enemies have the chance to flash out. So always wait with your Q until the last auto attack, okay? Because exactly then, they will die even if they would flash right after my Q. Okay, there was at least a lot of, a lot of sh showcase. And as you can see, this is a terrible game, but I'm just taking the pain. You need to take pain in order to climb. Yeah, this is also not playable. Maybe Kaiser gets something. Looks really, really hard. Hmm. I'm gonna get my top side now. We're also gonna lose Dragon. We have... We have one Drake. Maybe we can stall. All right. I'm probably gonna tilt here. Oriana's probably gonna be mad about this. Maybe I shouldn't be typing that. I need to get my Blade of the Rune King. So do we have anything? Every single lane is in jungle as well is hardcore, extremely losing. Do we have anything? Kaiser is even in CS. That's the best thing we have. Also died. Bard also dies. Okay, that looks kind of uh, kind of rough. Let's see what we can do next. Rana keeps pinging me, and as we know from the course, I'm not even gonna film full mute people. I'm just gonna try to filter positive information. I'm gonna cue this. Yeah, and I also have to say, if I did play the early one or two fights better, I think I would have been able to carry this game. It's just my bet that I misplayed it a little bit. I mean, it was my warm-up game. I'm not gonna be too hard on myself. This is another tip I can give you guys. Don't be too hard on yourself. You should try to always find a way how you can improve. But you don't need to be flaming yourself too much, okay? Just try to find a way. Okay, that's what I could have done. And that's it. Don't be like, that's what I could have done. And I'm so bad that I didn't do it, okay? Accept it. 
I'm not having the best game. I'm having a warm-up game. And there's no room for madness. I try my best to win. That's all that matters. Really good shutdown. Good job. Good job. Really, really fucking good. Blue buff is up. I want to get a catch here. Okay, that doesn't work like that. I was gonna try to disengage here. We have them coming. I do want to find a fight here if possible. Do need my blade of room king. I'm just gonna get my bots I can try to get mid lane. <clears throat> Alright. This could be warded and she can kill me here, but that doesn't really matter. I need to be as fast as possible exactly right now when we have a rough situation like this. Please get him, please get him. Really good, good job. Another shutdown. So we got in total already. What did we get? 700, 800 gold from shutdowns. Really, really huge. 800 gold, guys. That's almost three kills. Okay. If we get two more shutdowns and we play one or two fights well, we, insert, we already won. Like, it gets very quick. You have the chance to come back. But... If you just play and try to get play for the gold, you're not really getting that much. You need to play for a win condition, as I explained it on the course. Like here, we need to play with Kaiser. Chase will not be a champion even if he gets stronger. So I will try to get my Blade from King, one of my power spikes. First use that. And now I'm gonna cover Kaiser. Bait Vi, we need the shutdown. I'm gonna go with Kaiser now because I want her to get two to three more kills. Ah, this is really rough. I hope we're gonna make this work. Okay, maybe we can bait her. She has 500 gold. She used Herod. That could be great. Why is... Malphite is bot then. We can try to fight her maybe. Yeah, that doesn't work that well. I'm not that scared if they engage like this. Yeah, there's not much we can do about it. I was gonna try to get the eye from the Herald here. Alia also tries to engage here. Malfair tries to engage. We need to get a lucky fight. Chase also has, doesn't have TP. Okay, really good information as well. We probably need to just give the tower, but I'm gonna try to get as much as possible. Malfair has ult. I can't just re-engage. I will just instantly die for those who don't know. The moment I press Q, I'm already dead. That's how Master E works, my friends. But that is completely fine. We got one tower on the side. Bard died here as well. This is uh, one of the best bar players on the entire server. Probably one of the best bar players in the entire world. Um, and now, as you can see, like, do you see how like how hard it is in Challenger? It's it it is not easy. It is not easy. Some games are just meant to be really hard. I can't go further. Okay, oh, yeah, Melvet will just press flash ult, and I'm dead. Vi is bot, and so I hope I can at least get my chickens, but they will try to force this as well. Really good stop. Maybe we find a catch like this. Probably not. He still has ult. I don't see anything. I'm gonna sweep her here. I hope they engage, but probably they won't. We just need to hope for and get. We need to hope for lucky engage. There's no camp up right now on the map. Yeah, nothing I can do here as well. Dodge the Q. Really fast about what I do. He wants to reset again. Yeah, I'm thinking of that here. Nothing I can do, nothing I can disengage. Absolutely zero I can do here as well in this position. But this was exactly what you need to do. Find the best possible way at least. <clears throat> All right, he also has Zonyas now. That's really unplayable. Very good stun from the Bard. As he, as I told you guys, one of the best bar players in the world. Very good stun from him. We got a Vi Flash. You see, that's getting already pretty close. Very good. Yeah, oh, that's pretty badly done from him now. But nice on Chase. Okay, that's not that great. We tried to kill Talia here. Yo, shut down! Can, 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 can. We need to get Ezreal, we need to get Ezreal. We need to get Ezreal. Okay, I'm gonna try to... No, I can't do much here, but I'm just gonna try to get as much out of it as possible. Yeah, I die as well. But I, as you know, I need to play it like this. It is the best possible way how I can play. I know I will die if the enemies play well. Yes, we know we will lose the game if the enemies play well. But it doesn't matter. 
because the highest chance we can still win the game is exactly how we play right now and that is the only way how we play and that is also why league of legends is in general such a toxic game um i, I would just say of course because of the community it's get toxic but the community is getting toxic because of situations like this where you probably play correct but still get shit on permanently and it looks so terrible and it feels so terrible even though it is literally how you have to play okay i'm just gonna get wolves here into my top side i'll give this dragon as well we don't really need this dragon we just try to scale we have already one dragon point so that's really fucking good hmm but I have to say, the enemies are playing this game really well. Every single one of them is making almost no mistakes. Really, really good. This guy dies as well. We need to try to kill Malphite. I'm gonna try to kill the RL here. Yeah. Malphite misses his ult. But Talia, this Odysseus is just way too good of a fucking player. He has never missed a W in his entire life might get mid and tower might get bot and tower we lose baron here as well absolutely nothing we can do in this position as well okay delay some time here really good i'm gonna try to push even further we get bot nt2 also shut down on platings on towers mm, this is gonna be really if we manage to win this game guys it would be a perfect example but i am um, i doubt it i doubt it i don't see a way maybe 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 <clears throat> okay but as you can see we use so many fundamentals already this game if i end up winning it is only because of general knowledge general jungle knowledge jungle fundamentals i i of course we agree we both can see the enemies are just snowboarding over us we can say yeah i did some mistakes but mainly the enemies are just snowboarding over us that why just press assault a flash i'm dead right uh, every single time if she was here now she could play flash then i'm dead but that's fine. I still need to get my camps. I need to get farm. I'll see what I can do to make it work. So we need to find a catch here. Talia's not here right now. Maybe we find something. Okay, let's focus up here a little bit. Maybe we can get the extra somehow. I don't see that much potential. Mm -hmm. Let's try to go for the wrap of here. I'm gonna sweep her. Okay, the wrap of his warding, so somebody's close. Keep in mind, if I end up dying, it is what it is. We need to play aggressive and we need to have the best chance to at least come back. Kaiser is getting pretty strong, two and two already. Chase is pushing top side. If we can trade both T2s, it would be great if we can defend inhibitor somehow. I'm gonna dodge his Q here. I'm gonna double you this if possible. Need to give bot an inhibitor, but I'm gonna try to get the mid lane wave here. I'm gonna be dying here, but that's completely fine. Oh, Mephit didn't hold me, that's great. I needed to play it that way, as you guys know. That's one catch. Yeah, we can't go further, Ezra will be killing us all. Why already reset? I'm gonna get the control ward here and then get the mid lane prior. Doo -doo -doo. We'll die, but that's completely fine. I'm gonna take top lane chickens. <clears throat> and as you can see, I will not only upload. Um, just stomps on, on youtube i will always show you both sides of the matter guys it is not easy sometimes it's painful um we are all human we can just try our best as you can see i also get sometimes uh, upset about things but that is completely fine i need to show you both sides of the medal i don't want to only show, show you guys wins because especially on games like this there's a lot to learn there was a lot of things i f talked about already you can rewatch these few topics we cannot defend this i'm just gonna try see if i can get grump we need to defend top 22 if possible. I'm gonna be trying that. 
Uh, and because a few builds will, a few people will ask about the build in this game, you cannot go like you can go crack and rage bait. That's fine, but I feel like I'm useless anyway, so I'm just gonna go raw damage. If they one shot me, I will die anyways. Even if I had some more survivability, let's say. Okay. Doesn't look very promising here. Oh, very good, Oriana. Sadly, sadly, she does deal damage. It's so sad. Come on, Kaiser. Nice, one catch. Oh, shit. Really good, one catch. End up dying. Can they insta end? I don't think they can insta end. I think they will get one Nexus Tower and that's it. I think they will get one Nexus Tower. We can also try to fight the dragon. And they will not even take the Nexus Tower. Yeah, it's probably too aggressive. Barter's Flash can chase them down. We can get the dragon maybe. Can still win. We have one and a half minutes more to scale for Baron. Keep in mind, guys, always think about it. How can you win this game? It looks absolutely unplayable on every single... Yeah, I would just say on every single way it looks like unplayable. But it is actually somehow playable if we find one catch. And especially in lower elos, like let's say emerald, platinum, maybe even silver. You can find one or two catches. And if you catch now, let's say Ezreal, you get a shutdown. Enemies cannot end. They may, might not even get Baron. So you then have like four minutes, let's say three minutes, where you have time to scale and get items. We have two open inhibitors right now. So we have permanently access to a lot of resources. Chase gets more. Look at the Chase there's CS difference. That's because we can permanently have access to resources. And if the enemies don't end right now, and we get like three more minutes, we're back. Okay, I'm coming. We should just try to defend mid lane. That's one catch. I was so close of getting Q, it's crazy. You see? That's what I mean. It's Challenger Elo, the best players in the entire world. And I did the mistake. It was so close, we killed them all. Imagine we were a little bit like we have been lucky in the unlucky in the early game, unlucky in the um, early mid game, unlucky in the mid game. We've been permanently unlucky. Imagine we have been lucky in these kind of situations. How many insta comebacks we would have? Look at the Kai's, look at the Orianna. One more Orianna ult and she, when she's level 16, boom, explosion. When we get a Baron catch like that, GG. We now have to give Baron and it's going to be still really, really unplayable. We need to give Baron. I'm going to get my bot side cams now. Holy shit. Mm. I don't know what they're trying to do. I think they just want to get some CS. I think we should play wrap buff, give Baron, try to fight in base. <laughs> and as you can see, you remember when, when we were talking about the Orianna earlier? I'm not talking about the Orianna right now. Why? Because it's pointless. There are so many junglers who will keep talking about Yeah, but she entered early game. Yeah, I know. I know. I probably also entered early game. We, we all did. We, are, we Like, even if she didn't. Like, should I now go next or what? What the fuck? Is that the mindset you should have in life? If something goes bad, you just give up. Like, insta give up. No, you can be upset about it and then keep trying. Okay, let's see. We need to give this inhibitor here. And just, just try to defend this one, maybe. We can never fight this inhibitor here. I just like giving up. But we kind of have to. They will get a good fight here. Need to react to Malphite ulting, maybe. But they have way too many abilities. Catch, good catch. Need to focus Rel here. Torture Ezra Q. Get the reset. Get the Ezra flash. Oh my god. Odysseus is just too insane. Crazy this 1v9. Whoa! Did you see the W? Now we already found the comeback. Okay, if you don't play against the best Harley in the entire world, let's assume you played against the second best, then you would at least, like, we would have killed her here. 
And we would have been back. If we kill her here and when we survive it, then we actually can win it. Now it looks pretty rough. I think we probably lost. Please, please. Well, we lost here. They get the towers. Yeah, that looks too much. Yeah, we looks. I am very sorry. But bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, this game. My bad. It's not Oriana's bad, it's my bad. Very sad. I am very disappointed. I think if we got this last playoff, we would have won it. And now, what I will also do for you guys, I will be. I will be re watching that situation, okay? Let's go. I will be rewatching the early game so we all have a learning process because I try with these YouTube videos to have it educational. You have nice games, you get a lot of jungle content. I will explain. Every I'm gonna honor her because it's my bad. I'm sorry that I flamed her in the early game, actually, when I think about it. Minus 25! <laughs> uh, yeah, for those who don't know, currently I have a plus 16, minus 25, so I need around, I don't know, 70% win rate to not stay hard stuck. And the best win rate you can possibly have in Challenger is around 60%. That is the highest possible throughout history if you play, of course, like 500 games. So if I play a lot of games, on average, statistically speaking, even though, like, on the higher end, I would have around 60% win rate. But here, I would need even 70% win rate to not fall down in LP. So therefore, it is absolutely useless to play on higher right now but i'm gonna do it so you guys get great content let's go okay we're gonna rewatch the early game free coaching now let's do it here i was talking about the course which you can see in the description if you want to improve as a jungler like if i a lot of people ask me um like the, they're the videos on youtube but um how good are is the course then if you watch the youtube videos and you enjoy it and you think you learn a lot with that then the course is for sure something for you because it's just um it's the premium content it's it's very high quality content which actually helps you to come on youtube i try to make it educational i try to make it entertaining on the course i try to make you fucking climb to your dream elo let's not say fucking i'm sorry okay so <clears throat> i'm gonna clear everything beautiful now already small mid gap the, the ward here Odyssey always does it, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. You can change your pathing a little bit, but nonetheless, you're kind of fucked. Now, you do the full clear, everything is fine, and we are in a beautiful position. There is no mid camp. Now, I try to find a mid lane gank, but he knows it. He resets on top side. Why? Because he warded this, so he already knows that I'm bot side. I get scuttle. This already gets interesting. I kind of got uh, debated here. That was my fault. I should have taken the scuttle and instantly path top side. I should have done that instantly. But Bart wanted to fight it, and I think we do are strong, but Kaiser does, isn't coming at all. Of course, because of the wave. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying uh, what happens. So Ezreal has to move before us, and they are also stronger 2v2. So this play isn't generally bad. I should have done Scuttle and instantly tried to get double Scuttle. Okay, here I get flashed on by the Vi. My flash is perfect, Q, everything is fine. And now, this is normal what to do. What I can do now is this option. He sees that I'm coming. Um, and now we are both, I'm, I'm in shadow and he gets in shadow as well. So he, the, it's just the race who is fast on top lane scuttle, right? I have top lane prior. So if Jace moves now, I can kind of contest this, get scuttle, and with the scuttle, not only do I get the scuttle, also do the enemies not that get the scuttle. So it does make a difference of 8 CS, which is pretty decent in challenger elo. These small things does matter. So now, Odysseus. As we know, already knows this, so he already moves. He doesn't even care about the midwave anymore. The midwave looks good, so he already moves. Whether Oriana goes for this Ralph for some reason, why she just jumps over the wall, so that is not very optimal. Here, I'd, I should have looked at it more. Now I know, from this perspective, that Vi goes for top scuttle. It's 100% guaranteed. If I was the Vi, I would do the same, because it's all about, jungle is about efficiency. Every challenger know, knows this. It's not about getting, uh, like, of course, getting kills. Like, this is great. But he needs to get the CS, so he can instantly reset and instantly get his stuff. Okay. So Chase didn't roam. He should have roamed. Ori didn't help. Could have helped a little bit. And look at the Ezreal even roam from bot side to here. So he, Vi gets top lane scuttle. So Vi has a full winning team everywhere. Even top lane is kind of, oh, it's even. We can't judge that much. Okay, so I will take this ward here. I ward here, so I see everything. I see Vi, I see 
Talia. And now she just walks up. And now I can do the last auto attack because I'm confident in my sidestep skills. I have low ping. I am focused. I can sidestep this. But I can't sidestep it. <laughs> okay, I should not have done it because it's fucking Odysseus. He just doesn't miss. He just doesn't. Okay. So now I'm fine. I'm already out. She has nothing. I just walk out. I have W, I have Q. I, I'm not scared of anything. And now she goes too deep and now she dies. And that's... Yeah, we can say it's my fault. I should not have went for this extra gold. Uh, for me, this gold is free because I will reset and go for crux. But I also waste some time. I should have just insta-backed off, not even take this ward. Just give up the entire pressure here. But this is a very minimal mistake because you can't see this much in the future. And usually you are just able to get this ward. And we have to say, if she goes a little bit too deep, I can also uh, maybe kill her. But Rel is here. Yeah, I should just should not have went for the ward. All right. So... Let's see. So far, everything right. We're going to look at our big mistakes. Chickens, she did my crack, so I can go for Void Grubs now. Now we have top prio. Chase is ahead in CS. 11 CS more. Chase got a decent reset off. And the wave has crashed. So now this is kind of free for me. But Vi wants to fight this. Odysseus! <laughs> Oh, uh, when I rewatch this, I just get this guy. Like, I said it last season already. I think this is the best one trick pony on the entire server. Like, honestly. Look at his HP. Half HP, low on mana, does take a pot to already help. He already sees into the future. But Oriana doesn't want to come. She just rather wants to push a cannon wave, which push, is pushed extremely slow. Rel also very good from her. I knew that Rel could be roaming, but she couldn't be that fast. So one Void Grab is 100% consistent. I go for the fight and already Talia's here. Um, still looks pretty decent. I could queue the Mel fight now and try to go for the Talia, but now it's already too late because it was already too late. So what I should have done is I ping, 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 try to communicate as good as possible. One of the fundamentals. This is all fine what I did. The ping, ping, ping is fine. I mean, it does look extremely promising even here. Look at this. Look at the minimap. It does look way too promising for Red Team. We know Rel can't be here. And we know Chase is stronger. And we know I'm stronger. And I know I have Smite for this. And I have Q up. If I didn't use my E, it wouldn't matter, by the way. Maybe it would matter a little bit. Maybe it would matter a little bit. But here in this position, I'm kind of fucked. Because Melvin will always wait for my Q and then will E me. Okay, nonetheless, I'll end up dying here. Insanely done from the Talia. My death is is fine. I'm not even saying this is a bad mistake. Usually I always take um like um I always respect when I do mistakes. I think I like we can say I should have went for wolves, but I don't think so to be honest. And we said hard bot prior. We um had mid lane prio and top lane we're strong. I think going for this void drops in challenger elo is 100 percent correct. I should have tried to chat as well to maybe let Oriana know. And if we end up dying here, maybe if we predict that Talia will come and Oriana will ignore our calls, we could have given up the Void Cross. But I don't think so, to be honest, in this current, uh, exact position here. All right, so we go next. I'm going to go for Dragon. I think this Dragon is free. I don't know where Vi was right now. She was topside. I was very comfortable because... Like, I've, I've, I've also with bot prior, I, I just was very comfortable going for that. Let's look, look further. Let's watch one more death. Because so far, it's six and seven and zero. And I'm gonna be really honest, I didn't do. I fought. It always looks terrible afterwards. But so far, first seven minutes, we can only say I greeted for one auto attack for the ward. Everything else, I think, with all my knowledge and being like, I tell you guys. This is really what I feel like. If I was coaching, I would always try to get the best out of this Yi. I don't care about the team. I, sh I would just say, try to communicate better with the Koreana. If she doesn't end up following, I need to find a way out. But before there was no way out. So, so far, I didn't do really a mistake. Let's see. I think now I will do start doing a mistake. I try to contest this. This is all fine. This is all fine. I'm going for Crux into chickens. All fine. Beautiful. Hmm... Okay, looks good, looks good, looks good. Now try to get for bot lane play. Here my flash was bad. Like that was just one mechanical mistake. We need to find a dive, which is exactly the right call. And the enemies had vision. Had no vision. They had vision here. As we rewarded. The uh, entire, end, like, and again this room, like, where does this even come from? Oh, they have vision on this, this as well. Wow. They have vision everywhere. Top side, vision. 
vision 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 i'm just saying enemies deserve this guys they played it extremely well okay i'm not gonna analyze further because i think um i do play fine i think i did a lot of mistakes i can also myself improve on but i'm not gonna be too hard on myself it's my warm-up game i tried my best i'm comfortable and i'm fine losing this then we can argue, yes, we had losing top, losing mid, losing ADC, losing support, and we had losing jungle. All five enemies played completely well, um, and the enemies were full annoying, and that, like, how do we react now to this emotionally? We accept it. It's completely fine. We tried our absolute best, and there's... Um, yeah, there, there, there was some things we can do, we can analyze that, but there's also important for you guys to have acceptance. Accept that there will always be a small percentage of game where you can't lose. We have to say, we were all, all very unlucky. So many fights we were unlucky. So many roams we were unlucky. So many, like, player-wise, like, the, the differences and everything. We were really unlucky, but that doesn't matter. The mindset should be, okay, I accept it. I take my minus 25. I Q next. Let's see what I can do better and try again. There will be, like, usually, if I play, my, if everybody plays on their peak, 20% of games you automatically win on default. 20% of games where you automatically lose on default. And 60% of games we actually have a lot of impact on. Try to focus on these 60% and if you are playing well, then you might get to 80% win rate and that at your peak is absolutely cracked. With the fundamentals, by the way, guys, especially when you play below your peak or you try to climb to your goal elo, your future peak, you can even impact more than 60% of the games. With this 20%, 80% of the games, you can even impact 90% of the games. And there will only be 10% of all games where you end up losing. Keep in mind, guys. Um, keep in mind, guys. With the course, I have tried my absolute best to help you climb. This is all I can offer for you. And I will see you on the next videos, guys. Take care. It is in the description. I wish you a wonderful Eastern. And I will see you the next video. Take care, guys. I wish you the best.